happy Easter everybody uh, instead of posting part two of my switching um, I've got a lot of uh, honeydew stuff <laughs> to do in uh, in the yard today uh, first of all this uh, these center blocks had all sunk down a little bit so I went to Lowe's and got some sand and I took them out and put some sand in and put them back in and brush sand around them pretty amateur job but uh, it's definitely gonna be better than it was um, I'm just gonna let it dry and just keep putting sand in them they were down oh, a good half three-quarter of an inch something like that uh, I'm gonna be working on the garden today uh, so or the garden railroad today so anyhow um, I told you guys my philosophy on the garden railroad I, I just do it for fun uh, I like my rolling stock to look pretty realistic, but I'm not as worried about, like, obviously the track is way out of scale, you know, and the, um, so I, I try to keep it fun, more lighthearted. Um, this is just some, like, a uh, roofing felt, like, underlayment, uh, you would put underneath shingles. Uh, I wanted something to sort of represent pavement in a way, um, so, I mean, my sidewalks and everything that's just some uh thin plywood that i cut into shape and scribed lines in it and painted it concrete gray and went all the way around the buildings um but uh it's good enough for me uh but you can see that uh, some of the plants this plant here had gotten way big you can see how woody that is so my wife cut that back uh, she got rid of the one that was here uh it had just gotten completely out of control the um one of that corner over there and you can see my retaining wall is starting to deteriorate too um she had to get rid of that one and she cut back a bunch of the plants so hopefully they'll come back and uh look a little bit better this year but the project i'm working on right now these uh bridge abutments for the upper loop had gotten way way out of uh level and so I'm leveling them up. You now my bridge is just some uh, cedar ties that I sort of glued together edge to edge. I'd always planned on replacing it, but never have. <laughs> so at this point, it's been there two or three years, and it served the purpose. Um, again, that's just supposed to be like a little uh, coal uh, tram to go over to here. And in theory, it dumps and elevator takes it up, sends it down to the shaft and load it into the standard gauge coal cars here. So on my track uh, basically needs to be leveled up. So I'm gonna do the uh, upper loop first. And that way I'm not uh, trampling on it. If I do the lower loop, I'll be trampling on it before I, you know, while I'm working on the upper loop. Try to get the upper loop uh, leveled out and uh, in good shape, and then I can start on the, on the lower loop and uh, we run some trains. I could run trains now, I'm sure. This stuff is so forgiving. Uh, you could uh, run on unlevel track pretty much. So, you know, I'm sure I could get a train out and loop it with absolutely no problems. But uh, I'm gonna try to do some work in the, in the garden today. Um, and. Uh, so I won't really have time to film uh, part two of the switching and you may just have to wait till next weekend for that because Wednesday I'm going to try to do a update on the uh, Dutch's restaurant project. So I'll stop here and then I'll maybe show you some uh, uh, progress here in a little while. Another project we're working on is a uh, uh, my wife has a bunch of wood chips. I've got a driveway full of wood chips. And um, we laid cardboard down. We're gonna build flower beds around the perimeter there, uh, waiting on some metal edging to get here. And then the wood chips are gonna act like, uh, basically the mulch in the uh, pathways. So hopefully get this looking uh, a lot better this year. This is something, I think last year was the first year we did this. I built that raised bed. And, uh, so we're uh, gradually getting everything into shape. You can see where the picnic table was. There used to be a, a tree there we cut down. And, uh, but we're, uh, we're 
slowly, slowly working the yard into shape. And you know, you can sort of see uh, the path, <laughs> the chances wired into the yard. Uh, it didn't exist before we got him. It goes all the way around the perimeter of the yard. He's a, he loves to trot around the yard. As you can see in the background, I've got the uh, loop running. Uh, I need to get some more gravel, but it's uh, tracks leveled out. It's, it's running okay. Um, let's give a quick uh, two or three minute tour of the Garden Railroad. We've got a lot of new subscribers, probably never seen it run. Uh, so this is a fictional coal mining branch in Easter, Kentucky. Uh, it's called the Hagen's Branch. And it's Hagen's, Kentucky. Hagen's is my great grandmother all right, great grandparents on my uh, grandmother's parents. And so this is the Hagen's yard. Where I'm standing right here is the Big Sandy River. And this would be represent West Virginia. The NNW main line <clears throat> would be on this side of the river. And there would be a bridge. And I have a removable bridge right here that um, I can put in and out. I keep all my rolling stock in here. So I can just roll it out onto the, onto the railroad. So this is the Hagen's yard, town of Hagen's. And so a train leaves the yard. Actually, first of all, a train comes from West Virginia uh, and drops off cars and uh, picks, you know, drops off cars to be meant to serve the industries here. And then it, uh, you know, takes the full cars away. So a train leaves the yard, goes through the tunnel first industry you come to is Bartram Pulpwood, but we don't switch that on the way out because it's a facing point switch. We do it on the way back. It's this little pulpwood loading uh, area here. This is Scott Cole. My uh, grandfather was uh, Sylvester Harley Scott. Worked for the NNW for a long time. Uh, so my mother's maiden name was Scott. And then we go through the S-curve goldfish pond we have eight goldfish i also cleaned the pond today too uh, and finally we come around to truett lumber and truett was my great grandmother's maiden name on my dad's side um, so truett lumber gets uh, bulkhead flats they, they ship out lumber and they also uh, ship out wood chips and i sort of made that little <laughs> loader there so this is actually the end of the line and fictionally it used to run farther than this uh, but the big coal mine went out of business at the end of the line, so they just run to here and back. Typically, I'll run two trains. I do operate the Garden Railroad. I'll run a train uh, to the lumber company and switch the pulpwood, uh, and then I'll run this uh, out to the Scott Coal later on. The upper loop is just that. It's just a loop. It's just like a coal mine tram. You can see the or the it will be loaded there and it dumps around it goes around it dumps there so i just run it visually you know i have another train running in the background there's no no turnouts on it at all it's a little up and down um, but uh that's okay uh this it's battery powered i do have the capability to well, i used to have a capability of running with track power but uh, i took the wires up uh, so actually the battery and the receiver are in that coal car right behind the locomotive. I've got that little Whitcomb uh, uh, diesel there. The headlights used to work when it's battery powered, but when they converted it to <laughs> radio control, the headlights don't work anymore. That's okay. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, again, I don't take the G scale as seriously. It's more fun, but I do operate it. I do switching and uh, I do plow snow in the wintertime. Um, so you'll be seeing more G scale videos uh, this summer. So, uh, hope everybody enjoyed this little tour. And uh, when I start working on the bottom loop, I'll probably shoot a video about that too. Um, but uh, until then, everybody have a happy Easter. Everybody stay safe. And uh, Tux likes the Garden Railroad too. And luckily for me, he doesn't. Uh, do what Turdenan does. Ferdinand, or Turdenan, as I call him, uh, likes to use this as a litter box. So every time I have to run trains, I have to come out and check, uh, make sure he didn't leave any deposits on the track. 
stay safe.